Shoulders roll back. And forwards.
right palm on the toes and stretch your stomach. Guys, you guys doing okay? 
push out, lift, push out. Four times on each side, make sure each time is very controlled. The first spin that we're going to do is called, it's a starfish into a side spin into a climb. So it looks like this. So hands are up now, nice and high. Inside hand goes down, outside hand above. You're gonna spin, okay? Body straight, side spin, and then up into a climb. And then you can even go down, there, and that's how you end it. <laughs> so again, so the starfish is straight arms, okay? So basically you're going straight arms, legs out, legs to the side, legs into a climb, and up. So again, it looks starfish, side, spin up, you can go down, back into a starfish, back to the side, and down. Go from forward spin into back spin into an aerial invert. Okay, so remember, <laughs> so remember with this spin, um, usually with a forward spin, your inside hand is high, your outside hand is across, and you hook the leg. Okay, so we're going to keep our hands bent for this. So our inside hand is going to be a little bit bent in our forward spin. So as we push into a forward spin, turn around into a back spin, your arms are bent. You're going to get your knees to your elbows and behind. And up, and then if you really want to push it, behind and back. Okay, so it's all in the movement of the hips. So get the momentum because momentum is really, really important for getting this onto your side. So the next one I want to do is a pencil spin, but I want to focus on um, doing a pencil spin into a windmill. So the hardest part about the spin is when you go into a pencil, you lift your arms and you're facing towards the pole. Now what I want you to do is I want you to move your hips to the side and take your now inside leg around and position yourself center back to the pole. That small transition is the hardest part from going from a pencil into a windmill. Once you do have that though, then again you can work on doing the aerial inverts. So you're going to go into a pencil spin, side, around to the side, and back and center, and round to the side, and round, and center. Okay, so it, it's that whole transition thing from lifting up, windmill, center. Good. With the um, pencil, windmill, what your eventual goal is to go into a pencil, into a windmill, and then there. Move side Superman. Okay? So you can put your poles on static now. Uh, my pole doesn't go on static. So I will be keeping it on spinning. So side Superman is from a genie position. Um, so you do want to be quite high up. So you can get into a genie position from a side climb. Or you can do it from a Gemini uh, pull up. I prefer, prefer to do it from a Gemini pull-up. And this move is all about control. I'll show you now. So I'm going to go into my Gemini. Okay. And I'm going to go into my Genie. Okay. Now, from this position, I know I'm slipping and sliding, but you're going to put the other hand down. Make sure the bottom leg is hooked correctly. Now, to get into side Superman, you're going to lift the top leg and push back until you feel like you have a good standing and then let go. Okay, so you, I love crane. Crane is such an adaptable move. So you can try crane from the floor, then you can do it from the pole. And once you have the move, you can do an extension called crane split. Okay, so crane off the floor is you're going to Take your inside armpit, 
and put it by the pole, okay? Your outside hand is gonna go through and grip by the inside armpit. I mean, not inside armpit, the inside of your elbow, sorry. And then you're gonna take your leg, push it, and extend. So it's armpit, and then elbow through, leg, the knee has to push against the pole because that's where your leverage is coming. And then you're gonna lift the other leg back and through. That's it. Pushing the knee. <laughs> That's it. You just push the knee. Okay, so what you're doing is that uh, go nice and high. Armpit in, elbow in, leg comes in, and extend the other leg back behind. Yes, and that comes into play later on when we do it on the pole. So, going into it from a climbing position, right? You're going to climb, and then you're going to bend around, armpits, there. So you're doing exactly the same thing. I'll do it again for you now to show you. Good. So climb, come in front, elbow in place, knee and extend. Good. So once you feel confident with the crane on the pole, the split one is a lot, so it's called split crane. It's a lot easier to do if you feel comfortable up there. So if you're going to climb, go into your crane, exactly how you did, but now the back leg is going to go in a split position. Hold on, let me see if I can turn, turn, but... And all you're doing is taking the back leg, so you here, there, this leg is going like that. Like that. So you're just extending the legs instead of keeping them in place. It's called Harp Knot. It's from Stargazer. Okay, and it's like an in-between between Stargazer and a Remy. Remy sit. So you're gonna go into a stargazer. So here, hold the knee, okay? Then you're gonna come around, the same arm as foot is gonna grab behind. Arm above, and there. Oh. Yeah. Getting out of it <coughs> is the worst part. I will show you again. So just remember that when you are in Stargazer, it's the same arm that comes in front as leg that's gripping in the Stargazer position. So you're gonna go into Stargazer, leg nice and high, make sure it's gripped correctly, pull the leg towards you. The same arm as leg that's on the pole comes around, grips below, the hand holding the foot comes above, okay? Leg unhooks. And there we go. Regrip, slide the hand down, come back into a stargazer position, and you can come down from there. Floating ballerina is from a pole stand position. Okay, so I'm gonna use stomach because it helps me with the wrap. So you're gonna go into a pole stand position, uh, like I was saying, so pole stand, okay? You're gonna come around to the front of the pole. Okay, now your body is facing down, but I want your shoulders to look up. What happens when your shoulders lift up is the top leg straightens to give you more mobility. So you're gonna look up, top leg straightens, top hand grips, okay? The back leg is now gonna come around to the front. You're gonna grab behind you and straighten that leg. 
and that's floating ballerina. Okay? So again, I'll show you. So that, that feeling of when you are in um, pole stand, you're facing down. Okay? That shoulder rotation up is really important. So you're not looking down and trying to find the pole behind you because that won't work. You, yes, exactly. So you're twisting and gripping. Okay. So again, pole stand. Coming around. Straighten the top leg. I mean, straighten the front leg. Change legs. Grab the back leg. And extend. Okay. And then we can work on, once you've got that, we can work on Capizio and all of those from the arm on the pole and twist. Good. Face the pole and stretch it up. And bend your knees and push from side to side. Yeah. 
goes down and out. And it goes down.